Okay, in that last video we might have cut off just a little bit of the bottom of the board, but uh, I've added something up here. If you're viewing these videos in the order they were made, then you've already seen how we evaluate this limit for the function f of x equals x squared, for the function f of x equals 1 over x, for the function f of x equals square root of x, for the function f of x equals 1 over the square root of x, and also for the function sine of x. And I didn't think to write that one down, so I'll kind of extend it. Sine of x, the derivative function, is the cosine of x. It's not written very well. And uh, at this point, uh, I, I'm not real happy with the video I did for this. I did too much hand-waving, and I'm not sure that everything was really clear. Um, because we didn't really talk about uh, in, in detail with a big enough picture about the way the circular function acts when you have uh, a, an angle that is approaching zero. Um, so uh, we'll come back to that. But here's kind of a table of some derivatives. So now I know that uh, if I have a graph of the square root of x, then to find out the slope of that graph at a given point, all I have to do is know the value of x, and I can calculate the slope is 1 over 2 times the square root of x. Okay? And uh, that is going to give me the slope of a tangent line. So we're going to talk a little bit about how to use these ideas to get a tangent line. And I'll add to this graph here kind of a curve that we might have. The curve might look something like this. And it would pass through the point here that was at, that was at the end of this green segment that I kind of obliterated. And supposed to pass through the end of this purple segment. I was a little high. And it passes through this point. Okay, so if this is my function, then I have a sequence of slopes that approach the looking for words, I'm a little tired here, uh, that, that, that approach the average rate of change of the function. Um, and those slopes approach a limit, and if this, okay, uh, let's, let's just say this function looks like this and maybe continues on like this. Okay, so there's a tangent line at this point. And I'm simply going to say the slope of the tangent line is f prime of x. Okay, and that should be fairly easy to understand. Now we'll develop that topic a little more, but to get a tangent line or the equation of a tangent line at a given point, say I wanted the equation of a tangent line to the graph of the square root of x when x equals 4. Okay? Well, if x equals 4, our graph of the square root of x, and hopefully you understand graphs of basic functions like these, it's going to have a shape kind of like this one, but at the origin it's going to be infinitely steep, and then it's going to get less and less steep. So we'd get out to x equals 2, the, the, the slope has decreased to some point. So you have the point, or I'm sorry, when x gets out to 4, you have the point where x is 4, the y value is going to be 2. So you have the point 4, 2 on the graph. What's the slope at that point? Well, the slope is going to be what you get when you plug in x equals 4 here. You're going to have a slope of 1 over 2 times the square root of 4, which is 1 over 2 times 2, which is 1 fourth. So we know now that the tangent line at the x equals 4 point of this graph is going to have a slope of 1 fourth. We know the point, we know the coordinates of the point, and we know the slope. If we know the coordinates of a point and the slope of a straight line through that point, 
then we can easily find the equation of the line, and that would be the equation of the tangent line. Now, you might not pick all that up from what I just said, but that's what we're going to do next. We're going to talk about the equation of the tangent line and what it might be good for. Uh, we're in a position where we can do that, and it's not difficult. It's actually very simple, but you've got to understand what it means. When I say it's not difficult, of course, I assume that you know what the derivative function is. If you know the function and the derivative function, and you have a value of x, it's easy to find the tangent line. 